Meghan Markle is feeling the love from one of Prince Harry's closest pals. The Duchess of Sussex got a sweet shout out on Delphina Blockier's Instagram page this week, in which she called Meghan her fellow pee wife after they bonded while supporting respective husbands, Harry and Nacho Figueres, at their polo matches this season, writing, M, looking forward to many more of these times with you and H. Getting to spend time together over these two months was so special. I wish everyone knew you the way you are. My sister, my now fellow P-wife, polo wife, genius of you to come up with this. Can't wait to see you again soon to share thrill, hikes, and just more chill time. You also have my respect. Keep walking steady and strong. Listen to your heart. That will guide you well because you have a big one and it's a beautiful one. I love you, my darling. Nacho echoed the sentiment with a heartfelt note of his own, writing in the comments section, I second that. We love you, M. Nacho and Harry have been friends and teammates for years, hitting the field together and goofing around on the sidelines. Nacho and Delfina attended Harry and Meghan's wedding back in 2018, and the foursome has been photographed together at multiple polo events. Though Harry's polo season may be over for now, it's been a busy few weeks for him and Meghan. Earlier this month, the Duke and Duchess took their kids to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee festivities, which celebrated her historic 70 years on the British throne. The trip marked the couple's first public appearance in London since their 2020 decision to step down as senior working royals and move to California. And the family also celebrated their daughter Lilibet's first birthday while across the pond. Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are perceived in Harry's home country after leaving to live in the States. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Meghan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next. And that's still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family, especially, you know, they're kind of, they've almost become like the Thomas Markle. You know, there was a time where no one knew what Thomas Markle was going to say next, what he was going to do next, what TV show he was going to appear on next. And I think Harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the UK and especially within the royal family. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, Buckingham Palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see.